guys welcome to the video in this one we are actually setting up for the housewarming party that my wife and i had a few weeks ago i'm just starting off by cutting some fruit Then I'm gonna cut the heart in half, like long ways. Like so. Is that so pretty? <laughs> turned out so pretty and i really love cutting fruit um it's so like soothing and just like relaxing anyway we started to set up the actual like decorations and my wife was washing dishes from um the stuff that we use for breakfast i bought these tablecloths two of them i think it was like two for ten dollars on amazon charcuterie boards we already had one and the other two i bought from either home goods or tj maxx i don't know i was doing so much running around that all the stores turned into one <laughs> by the end of this process i also bought these uh really pretty like amber colored bud vases from amazon and I bought these like really pretty multicolored candle holders from Amazon, uh, like two different sets. One box of all green, like this deep green color that was really pretty. And then another box that came with three different colors. I also bought these long stem red wine glasses from Walmart. They were like $2.97 a piece for the cocktail station. I wanted to have a cocktail station, something that was like really cute and interactive and fun for the guests to do. I bought a few candles from Dollar Tree. A few of them I bought from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And those like bubbly ones, I bought those from Michaels. I decided to only buy one bouquet of flowers um, and then just split it up into the bud vases because I wanted it to be like very simple but also really pretty and also cheap so I had to keep that in mind. I actually don't know how much all of this ended up costing um, and if I'm keeping it real with y'all I did end up returning a lot of this stuff because when was I ever going to use it again? And got oranges, lemon slices, and lime slices. So 
happened to find these bowls at the thrift store the other day, which are perfect. For the cocktail station tomorrow. Oranges. See, the oranges are too small. Don't put oranges in there. This was very last minute, so we didn't really have like any food outside of the charcuterie board, but I did want to pick up like a little dessert. So I ended up going to um, Nothing But Cake and picked up about 12 different flavors, just stuff that I thought people would like. I asked my company what flavors they wanted like specifically. This was a good choice. It was perfect because it's so little that you can just like hold it. You don't need like a plate or anything to put it on to eat it. It's like the perfect little handheld dessert. that was coming um is actually like pescatarian slash vegetarian they don't eat any meat so i wanted to make sure that one of the boards was like very fruit and veggie heavy um and didn't have any meat on it at all so that's what i was doing with the board on the left and the board on the right was pretty much just a regular charcuterie board a mixture of everything because you know i like to work with my Yes, dietary needs, especially being someone that is allergic to shellfish who always has specific dietary needs. Um, I wanted to make sure there was like no meat touching any of his fruit or vegetables, even though I don't think he would have cared. It's just like the little details that matter. You know, I just am doing whatever, honestly, with no rhyme or reason. Just doing what I think looks pretty. I ended up using salami, uncured capicolo, and prosciutto on this board that was the only meat that i bought um, from target and everything else like the fruits the veg actually i didn't have any vegetables i don't know why i keep saying vegetables all of the fruit came from like audi target and the croissants the the spreads um the cheeses the crackers came from walmart that's the best hummus, that's a uh, roasted bread pepper hummus, which is my favorite. And I also love these chocolate covered, um, what are they? The chocolate covered blueberries. first time hosting, me and my wife's first time hosting in our new apartment. 
And this was really fun, you know, trial and error. Uh, I do want to host more and I'm encouraging you guys to host more also. Don't forget if y'all want any links to anything that I used in this video um, to just comment below and ask me. Thanks so much for watching the video guys and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!